फ्रेंड्स आई एम मधुरा वेलकम टू मधुरा रेसिपी डॉट कॉम टुडे आई एम मेकिंग कचौरी कचौरीज आर वन ऑफ फेवरेट स्ट्रीट फूड इन नॉर्थ इंडिया दे हैव दिस क्रिस्पी एंड फ्लेकी टेक्सचर सो टू अचीव दैट इन अ डिश ओवर हियर आई हैव अ कप ऑफ प्लेन फ्लावर और मैदा फर्स्ट वी आर सी हाउ टू प्रिपेयर कोटिंग फॉर दिस कचौरीज इन दैट गोज इन हाफ टी स्पून ऑफ सॉल्ट मिक्स दैट इन एंड देन I'm adding two tablespoon of ghee. That is clarified butter. And just like we make our any pastry dough, we are just going to crumble it down. Take this flour in your palms and rub it up. And rub it. After it starts to look like bread crumbs, add in some water. So it requires just little over quarter cup of water, fourth cup of water. Mix that in to make this into semi stiff too, not too stiff and not too soft. Soft. And dough is ready over here. Take another bowl. Put in this dough. Cover this up. and allow it to sit for a uh, half an hour while our uh, dough is resting let's get on to making some uh, stuffing kachori can be made uh, from variety of uh, filling or stuffing here i am making uh, mug dal kachori this is uh, different than uh, usual uh, mug dal kachori no soaking is uh, required so i am dry roasting half cup of mug dal until it gets nice deep golden color If you are visiting my YouTube channel for the first time, or if you haven't subscribed yet, then please remember to subscribe and also hit the uh, bell icon uh, so that you will get a notification whenever I add any new uh, video or recipe on my YouTube channel. While roasting this mug dal, stir it continuously, and uh, while uh, roasting, you will feel that this dal gets more crunchier. and it takes good about 8 to 10 minutes stir continuously and as you roast this uh, chana dal you will feel this dal gets more crunchier and it takes good time about 8 to 10 minutes on medium heat here this dal looks nice it has got this nice deep golden color turn off the heat add this dal into a grinder jar I'm also adding a teaspoon of fennel seeds, and after it cools down a little bit, grind this into a coarse powder. This mixture is done and ready. Now transferring this into a bowl again. Now, uh, if you can notice, it has coarse texture, and you can see tiny bits of this mug dal here. Now I'm adding powdered spices in this. First, adding. Half teaspoon of red chilli powder, quarter teaspoon of amchur powder, quarter teaspoon of roasted cumin powder, coriander powder, turmeric, salt, half teaspoon of salt, or to taste. First, mixing all these dry masalas well with these ground lentils. to this mixture i am adding a tablespoon of oil so that this mixture come comes together and gives it good binding here the stuffing is ready a so dough has been seated for half an hour now let's start to make kachoris so take this to out and knead this one more time just make it nice and soft again and now divide this dough into five equal size portions or balls so from a cup of maida so from a cup of maida you could make five nice size kachoris now keep this uh, dough balls covered on the side take one of this uh, dough ball 
and I am going to flatten this using the palms if you want you can also roll this with the help of rolling pin just try to spread this out into a nice into a nice 3 to 4 inch round once you flatten it out into 3 to 4 inch round nice and evenly and put this right in the middle of this dough now bring the edges together just like we make our paratha and pinch them and seal them nicely like so and again I am going to flatten this out into about 3 to 4 inch round disc you could also use rolling pin and rolling board to make this cutorings perfect now keep this covered on the side so that it does not dry out so over here kachoris are ready now the secret of making these uh, flaky kachoris is to deep fry them or drop them into oil when the oil is about to get heat up and not into very hot oil you need to deep fry these kachoris slowly like so they are not going to swell up as soon as you drop them into oil and after about two minutes of frying you can see that this kachori has swelled up on its own you don't need to press it down or push it down just like you fry when you fry your puris just allow it to fry slowly for good eight to ten minutes onto low heat after about four to five minutes of frying you can see that this kachori has started to settle down at the bottom of this kadai now this is the time you need to turn this around perfect look at the nice color and allow it to fry from other side as well for another four to five minutes and when you are done frying both the sides just remove them out look at that and transfer them onto a kitchen towel perfect and over here these kachoris are ready and the kachori looks so scrumptious and from a cup of flour you are able to make about five nice size kachoris let me just open up one for you look at that it has turned nice and flaky wow. you can see the layers if you like this video hit the like button also remember to subscribe thank you for watching see you soon bye bye